Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that has to do with interpreting a graph. So you've got a, a graph over here with a bunch of lines and we're going to do some interpretation of some components of that graph. So this is a problem that I'm taking from CPM course three, and this is section 4.1.6, right? Yes, 4.1.6. And this is number 4-60. So it says, examine the graph at the right, which displays three tile patterns. So we have three lines here that display different tile patterns. And it wants us to answer these questions based on the fact that my X here is my figure number, right? Figure one, two, three, four. And then my Y is the number of tiles in each of the figures, right? So we can do some interpretation based on what we have. So it says, what do you know about figure zero for each of these patterns? Right. Remember figure zero, if this is figure one, two, figure zero is right here on the on the Y axis. Right. So that's where figure zero exists. So if I look, I see that figure zero for both C and A. Right. Here's line A. Here's line C. So for both C and A, figure zero crosses at zero. So it has zero tiles. So we can say both. Uh, oop, I should say not figures, both patterns patterns a and c have uh, zero tiles in figure zero right so there's there's one piece of information okay so both patterns oops patterns a and c Here's A and here's C. So both of those patterns, by the fact that they are at the zero, zero, they're at the origin, have zero tiles in figure zero. So then the last one, B, what about pattern B? So pattern B, I wrote too big here. Pattern B has how many? Well, at the zero, we go all the way up to here to, it looks like 30, right? This represents the number of tiles, the Y does. So it looks like there's 30 in figure zero so pattern b has 30 tiles in figure zero so that's what i would write and uh, hopefully you wrote a little smaller that you fit it all on that on that line all right so b part b says which pattern changes most quickly and how quickly does it change so the pattern changing quickly is determined by the steepness of the line, right? So if I look at pattern A, from figure to figure, it's slope triangle, right? When we think about a slope triangle, there's where it's at at figure one. Here's where it's at at figure two. So its slope triangle is not as steep as if I look at pattern C. Pattern C's slope triangle is steeper, right? So steep. Pattern C is changing quicker than A. And then I look at B. B actually is decreasing, not increasing. So I'm going to go ahead and say that C, pattern C, is uh, increasing uh, more quickly. Most quickly, we'll say that. And why? Because it wants to know why. Because it's the steepest line. Steepest line. Okay? It's the steepest line. All right. So then part C. So then it says, which figure number has the same number of tiles in pattern B and C? So if I look, pattern B and C, here's pattern C. And here's pattern B, and they cross right there. So that tells you they have the same, if you, if you look over, they have the same number of tiles at figure two. Okay? So which figure number has the same number of tiles? It'd be figure two. Uh, and explain how you know, because their lines intersect. at figure two, right? 
at figure two, or we could say at X equals two. So at X equals two, that's where the lines intersect. Okay. And then last one, B says, write a rule for pattern B. So D wants us to write a rule for pattern B. And remember our rules, we know that Y equals M X plus B. M is always the growth. B is always the figure zero. So what is the rule then for pattern B? Which one? This one's pattern B. So I know it starts at 30. So my rule is going to be Y is equal to something going on with X plus 30 because it starts at 30. So now I just got to figure out what that M is, right? I know that there's going to be an M in front of the X and the M is the growth. So what is my growth from figure to figure? So when is, uh, you're going to have to look, and I, I can see where this one is. It's at 20 here. So when I go down and over, kind of looks like if I were to see where I'm at, at so my every time I go over from one figure to the next, right, from zero to one, and then from one to two, it's decreasing. How much is it decreasing? If this is 30 and this is 20, we can still markings. It looks like it's decreasing each time by five, right? It'd be going down five each time. So that would be the growth would be negative five. It's a decreasing. You would use a negative M. So that's the rule for B. All right. There you go.